Hi everyone, this is Carissa. For my DSARI project, I chose to make a candle-powered space heater. So a little bit of background information and why I chose this project. Um, you're looking at a picture of my room. It's kind of small. It has two windows. Our house was built in 1918, and as we learned from previous lectures, houses that were built that long ago are really inefficient, and particularly our heating is not very efficient. We have radiators. I have one in my room on the left wall, but it's not, it doesn't work very well. My room is usually cold, and I spend a lot of time doing homework in my room dressed like this. So to keep myself from freezing over in the winter, I got one of these guys. It's a little space heater. My grandma had it laying around. She didn't use it anymore. It's 1500 watts and it heats up my room really fast and really well. But being the poor college student that I am, I wanted to find a way to heat my room without having to jack up the electricity bill. So I did a little bit of research online and I found the candle powered space heater, which seemed really easy and really cheap. So I decided to check it out. So the way the candle powered space heater works is you have a little candle underneath the pots and there's a shaft in the middle with nuts and washers on it and that heats up and then the heat radiates outwards and eventually goes out of the pot. So it traps the heat from the candle from going directly up and it makes it go outwards so that you can use it. So first I had to get the materials. I needed a couple flower pots, some candles, washers, nuts, a shaft, and then obviously something to light the candles. I actually found some of these flower pots in my backyard that I wasn't using, so I grabbed them, got the dirt out of them, and I got the rest of the stuff that I needed at Walmart for super cheap. So putting the heater together wasn't too hard. You just put one small pot inside of the big pot and connect it by the shaft with some nuts and washers. And then once I had them together, I put some extra nuts and washers on the inside on the core. And then this is another picture. Just a close up so you can see how many. And this slide, this was a picture of an example I found online. This one you can see has three pots instead of the two. And so I found this, you have to put it on a platform so that oxygen gets to the candles. And so I found these two bowls that I put it on top of, and I had three tea light candles underneath. Here's a close-up of the candles. And the two bowls ended up not being very stable because there's only two points of contact. So I took a couple of the tea light candles and I stacked them on top of each other and so I had four points of contact. And it ended up working pretty well. The wax eventually melted and got a little messy, but it worked for a while. Here's a picture of the three candles underneath. You can see it still has enough oxygen. Here's a top view of the candle powered space heater. I had it going for about three and a half hours that night and the middle part got really hot at first but we thought that maybe it could radiate more heat if we put more candles under it so we lifted it up and I tried to put more candles underneath to have five but I noticed that there was some condensation on the candle the platform and that's probably because we left them outside and there was water still in the pot and also when we washed off the dirt there's probably a bunch of extra water on the inside so even with the five candles underneath, it didn't seem to put out a lot of heat. Obviously, it's not going to put out any more heat than the five candles are generating, but you could feel the heat if you're three inches away from the pot, but for heating a room the size of mine, I don't think it'd be very effective. So here are some of my calculations. I wanted to find out how much money I would be saving if I didn't use my space heater. So my space heater is 1,500 watts, which is the same as 1.5 kilowatts, or about as much as a hair dryer. And according to EIA website, the price of electricity for kilowatt hours per day in August 2013 in Minnesota was 12.74 cents. So if I had my space heater running for three hours in a day, that'd be 1.5 kilowatts times three hours, which is 4.5 kilowatt hours. And so then if I take 4.5 kilowatt hours, multiply that by 12.74 cents, I would get about 60 cents per day if I ran my space heater for three hours. So if I ran my space heater for three hours for 30 days in a row, that'd be 0.6 times 30, which would be $18. So if I took that $18 and I added it on to the electricity bill for one month, it would be 47.55 plus 18. And then if I take 18 divided by that number, I would get about 30% of the electric bill just from the space heater, which is a lot. So it would be better to not have to use it. So a few more calculations. The price of my candle heater was about $6, and that includes the stuff I had to get at Walmart, like the candles and the nuts and the shaft and watchers. 
And I found that if I used three candles every day for a month to heat my room, I would need 120 candles. And I would have to buy three packs of 50, and that would end up costing me 675 So that price is less than half the price of running my space heater every day for three hours. So the, the candle heater does pr produce a lot less heat than the space heater, but it can still heat up a small little area around it. It also is way less safe than a space heater, but as I said, it can heat up a small little area, and it's really fun, and it can keep your hands warm. So in conclusion, the candle heater is a lot of fun. It could save money, it could save energy, but it's not very safe because of the fire. And most importantly, it doesn't really heat the room very well, not as much as just having three candles sitting out in the room would. So I found that using the space heater is totally fine to use as long as I don't have it running for three hours every single day. I can probably have it running when it's really cold or I just need to heat up my room for a few minutes. Thanks for watching my project.